it's Lacey Skulls. If you ever wanted to know how the cast members from the iconic Of Love shows are doing, you've come to the right place. See and hear from your favorite Of Love stars by subscribing to Storm TV, which is my new streaming service, and it's now available as an app. But I'll come back to that in a second. Let's see how the Rock of Love girls are doing. From Rock of Love season one, her boobs help her think better, here is Christia. Hey, Christia, long time no see. It's been forever. Oh You're beautiful. Thank you, Lacey. It's so nice to see you too. Even though you were there for only three episodes, you are one of the like the memorable ones. Part of that is due to the fact that you and Brandy C had this show friendship, yes. this alliance. Yeah. And I loved that you guys dubbed yourselves the Barbie <laughs> twins. I think that that was Aaron that said that. I think Aaron had said something about you guys being two dumb Barbies or something or two dumb Barbie dolls or something. However, that was said to us. And then, you know, we were like, yeah, we're the Barbie twins, you know, and we just took it from there. I think it was, that was so smart that you guys did that. I knew that Heat had done something similar um, on I Love New York. What was? Um, 12 pack. Yes. But the two of them had been kind of a duo. I knew that that would kind of help us a little bit. How did you and Brandy C connect so quickly? In the hotel, before we headed over to the house, she owned the same dress that I had on that I was wearing that day. She was like, oh my gosh, I have that same dress and I almost wore it today. And I was like, oh, that would have been crazy. You should have, you know, we would have been twins, twins. <laughs> that would have been amazing. And I think that's how she initially befriended me and then we just clicked I don't know we just hit it off you know she was so much fun and like I don't know we just had a blast Brandy C was definitely ballsy at times oh my gosh she was so smart she was so smart you know her last name Cunningham I think that that is like a fitting last name for her like she is a cunning ham she is <laughs> she, it, like it she's she knows when to be like she had like really good comedic timing for things and like really smart about how to play that game on there like she was very smart about it yeah definitely yeah I mean it's obvious too I mean she went on to do a bunch more of the you know the franchise VH1 shows were you ever asked to do Charm School or I Love Money? I was, yes. You were? I, yeah, I was asked to do Charm School. Um, unfortunately, I think it was probably about a week before that, Brandy and I had a falling out. Oh, and it, so you didn't go on for that reason alone? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, I'm sure it would have been good true. television and it probably would have been, you know, if we would have, I don't know, reconnected or somehow, you know, repaired our friendship or otherwise it would have like exploded on TV and that would have been good television too. But I don't know. I was just in a place where I was like feeling really guarded about that. And I was, I just didn't, I didn't feel like putting my emotions on blast like that, I guess. Yeah, I completely I just, understand. Well, I too was really, you know, close to Brandy for a long time. Yeah. And then we didn't really have a falling out. She just like disagreed with me politically online and for some and decided to blast me for it, which was like, it just seemed so out of left field yeah. um, that for her to do that. And also, I always thought we were on the same side politically, but apparently, apparently not. But, um, but, you know, I do know that Brandy C is, she's, she's a, a great fun friend when she's your friend. Yeah. But then when she has any issues with you at all. She will definitely put you on blast. And it's just, it's intense. It's a lot to deal with. Yeah, it wasn't, I mean, it wasn't, it wasn't the greatest, but you know, I'm, it's, it's so far in the past right now that, you know, I don't want her to be bothered by that. Yeah, absolutely. I, I totally get it. But I also understand not wanting to be in that situation on TV. Yeah. At the time it was like so raw and so new. And I was like, I don't want to get on this show and have either of us being mad at each other and it explode. And then I have this like memory of me and her being like crazy on TV forever. We could have maybe reconciled, but I don't think it was that. I don't think, I think it was too new at that time just because it was like a week after. The, oh, it was yeah. that? Yeah, it oh, was wow. really, it was like right after. Oh, that's such a shame. It would have been fun to have I her in know, school. I know. And it's so funny because I talked to um, Jessica Kinney and she was like, oh, it would have been fun. And, you know, I'm like, yeah, I suppose. But yeah, yeah. I don't know. I, I understand it, though.
from Rock of Love season one. Please welcome my very good friend, Brandy C. Hi. When you found out that it was Brett, were you very familiar with Poison? Um, were you excited it was him? Were you indifferent? I think really indifferent. I didn't really know Poison that much, so obviously who he was, but I wasn't. I didn't really care. You were so funny. I remember you were like, I can be your main girlfriend and you can have several <laughs> other girlfriends. So back then I was really into like the girls next door, different reality shows like that. So that's probably where that came from. But I mean, we were also like 24, so we were ridiculous. <laughs> That's a good way to summarize all that. I would say ridiculous is good. Here is Sam from season one of Rock of Love. Hey, girl, how are you? Hi, Lacey. It's so nice to see you. I know, you too. One thing that I thought was interesting that I actually didn't know was that you were sober during the filming. Mm -hmm. So yeah. have, you, have you always been sober or were you just sober during that time? No. So I, I'm a lightweight. So I know if I were to have like one drink, I will just be drunk and it'll, I'll just be a mess. So knowing that, um, and also knowing that the cameras were always rolling, I just common sense, like don't drink, you won't do anything stupid. So I just didn't drink. I really wish I had had some of your common sense because I'm a lightweight too. And my experience in Vegas proves that. So, yeah, but so. I mean, you were lacy. You had to drink. Are That's you kidding true. me? Looking back at it, I'm like, and like I, sh I shared the show with my boyfriend recently because I was like, oh my God, I have to get caught up and remember all the episodes for Lacey so we can talk about them. And I shared, oh my God, I shared it with him and he was like completely appalled by the whole thing. And he's like, how did you not drink? Like he just didn't understand. It's crazy because they offered us so much alcohol. We had a full bar at all times. Like throughout the day, everyone was drinking. We first got there, drinks were poured. Like, and I think that's really where the best TV came from is like the people who were drunk and who like were just acting crazy from Rock of Love season one and the winner of Charm School, please welcome my dear friend, Brandy M. Hey, Brandy, how have you been? Mm. Hold on, let me drink this real quick. <laughs> my uh, least favorite. Which is the Vegas baby episode? Yes. The guys in Brett Michaels' band essentially challenged us to a, a chugging <sighs> contest of Jägermeister, which was like a ridiculous thing to agree to. <laughs> Oh, and and do you remember the Grey Goose? Do you remember the Grey Goose bottle? I barely remember anything. I w I'm shocked I remembered my own name that night. <laughs> oh, my God. Well, hey, at least you didn't puke all over Brett Michaels. I sure as hell did. <laughs> so um, do you remember all that? Do you remember that night? I'm going to tell you the bits and pieces I remember. Okay. So I remember us all being so excited to do this in Vegas, baby. We all got dressed up so beautifully. We all looked hot as fuck. And then we go to the concert. So we have fun. But in the in the back, the back room, mm -hmm. backstage, uh, we they they wanted to play a prank on us, but we thought we were like, fuck this, we can handle this, we can yeah, do this. Stupidly. <laughs> so I remember the huge battle of Grey Goose. And I remember they're like, chug, you guys are all going, chug, chug. I chugged to the count of 15. Can you imagine that? Yeah, that was chugging insane. Chugging until the count of 15. You were chugging on the Jaeger. All right, so let's get to the puking part. This part's <laughs> fun. I'm sitting at this table with this chair. And keep in mind, it's carpet floor, but this chair is like heavy iron. It is so heavy. And when you're annihilated and you're hammered, you can't, you're like, uh, I was trying to move the chair. So I felt the puke coming on. And so I'm like trying to push the chair back to get up and go run to the bathroom but I, I had no time the chair was too heavy and I couldn't push it so all I could think was grab my napkin oh. I grab my napkin and all of a sudden oh. people squirting out which has become a lot of memes for a lot of things <laughs> <laughs> consider it an honor so then let's talk about your elimination on rock of love you know what I found out that my heart wasn't going to be real with him or his heart wasn't going to be real with me and I realized, what am I doing? So I eliminated myself. Yeah. I took myself off the market. And honestly, the producers were pissed because they were like, you are supposed to make it to the end. You are not supposed to do this. And I said, well, I'm going to, you know, like I, I just, I, I can't do it anymore. I can't film anymore. You just told the producers like, I'm done. 
Yeah. That wasn't supposed to be my, they added that. That wasn't my picture. My, that, you know, what did you give you? Your pass as you left? Yeah. 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 That wasn't me. I wasn't supposed to be that one. I was supposed to continue. And I do know whose it was. Oh. But I don't want to say. Oh, come on. Tell us. Tell us. Uh, Do I? Do I tell you guys? Yes. Do I tell you what the producers told me? Yes. I, it was Heather's. Heather was supposed to go. Whoa. I was supposed to stay. Really? You, me, and Jess were supposed to go to Mexico together. I have an escort and everything. Oh, wow. Oh, that's insane. Yeah. And they were like, Brandy, you just fucked our show up. And I said, I'm really sorry, but I got to go home. I want to go home. I'm done. They flew my mother out and everything. Wow. That is crazy. That is crazy. They flew my mother out for Meet the Parents. And I called, that's the day that I decided not to do the show anymore. Holy shit. That is insane. That's insane. Yeah. So, wow. Heather was not supposed to make it to the end. No matter what, if you get his name tattooed on you, you're still (sighs) not going to make it. I'm super excited to announce this person. And I'm not even going to say her name. All I'm going to say is, don't threaten me with a good time. Hey, Tiffany. Girl, how you doing? Hey, girl, hi. (laughs) Brett shows up. You recognize him. And then they go through the process of uh, telling some of the girls they could go in the house and others had to stay outside. I didn't know they were going to do that. That threw all of us for a loop when that was happening. When you didn't get picked to go in the house, you came and knocked on the door, which was amazing. I'm so glad you did this. You're like, hell no, I'm not going home after all this shit. I'm coming in. Was that something that you decided on your own to do and the producers went along with it? Or did the producers tell you to do that? Or how did that all go down? You know, I was sitting there, I'm like, this is a bull crap, you know? I mean, that's, that ain't right. You don't send people home once they got really there. Really fucked up. There was no talking. I wasn't going to take no for an answer. If you look at the editing, it was caca. You know, <laughs> like I, I had to rehearse that freaking banging on the door. Now, if I was banging on the door, I'd be using my fist, you know, I wouldn't <laughs> be going slap, slap, slap. <laughs> you know, I wouldn't be doing that. So that part was, they had you like go and redo it. it. I don't rehearse know how many that part. Times. Okay, okay. Your one-liners were just brilliant. The whole like, don't threaten me with a good time is just has become like the phrase for that entire season. Like everybody loves it. Are these phrases that you've always had or like, where did that come from? First person I ever used that on was Michael Jordan. (laughs) He had two girls standing by him and he was drinking a a Carmona. I call Corona's Carmona's. (laughs) So I'm like, I talked to the guy, I'm like, hey, yeah, let me let me uh, holler at him for a second. Michael Jordan's like, yeah. So then I went over there. I said, you know what? It's my birthday. He's like, really? I said, yeah. And he like, happy birthday. It was really nice. Put his arm around me, gave me a kiss on my cheek. I'm like, damn. I said, I think I need another one. <laughs> so, you know, because I was like, oh, it was like surreal to me. Um, and then he did it again. I'm like, damn, boy, I don't threaten me with a good time. Did they talk to you about Charm School or any or I Love Money or any of the Actually, other shows? Actually, the first candidate for Charm, I was there in California and they kept me in that room. For Charm School? Yeah. Oh, tell us about that. Well, you guys were like all on the bus and then they told me I couldn't go. I'm like, what are you talking about? Why did you, I mean, they did this shit to me all over again. Wait, so they, I, so after Rock of was, Love, they flew you to Los Angeles again from Chicago for Charm School, and then they didn't have you come on? Yeah. Get out. That yeah, is I mean, so that's brutal. like the frustrating thing because, hey, I was going to, you know, giddy up and throw on a uniform, you know? Oh I my barely God. packed anything that time, you know? I was like, okay, I'm going to Charm School, you know? I'm like, what do you mean I can't go? But I think they were waiting for somebody to back out, and I was like, the replacement. Oh my God. That's insane. But (laughs) I was bad girl. They had a flight scheduled for me that night. Yeah. I'm like, yeah, right. Shit. You guys are paying for this shit. I went out, girl. I went to the beach. I went for a couple of days. I wasn't even answering the phone call because I knew they had to pay for that room. (laughs) That's smart. (laughs) So you took a little mini vacation while you were in California. Like, no, here's what's not going to happen. I ain't taking that flight. If you enjoyed this video, please click like right now. That way YouTube will put it in the algorithm for everybody else to enjoy too. 
Also, please go to the comments and tell me who are your favorite of love cast members and why? And who else would you like to see me interview? You can find tons of interviews with the of love cast members as full hour long interviews where we spill all the tea. Just go to my streaming service, Storm TV. It's available as a mobile app. Just search your Play Store or your App Store. And you can also find Storm TV on your Amazon Fire Stick. Don't forget to click like and type your thoughts in the comments below. I'd love to hear from you. Thanks so much, everybody, for your support, and I'll see you again soon.